going on guys? It's your boy 100 Gang Nate back outside again with another video and today I am at BMW um, of Decatur. Today I came in here because I told y'all before I was trying to get an M3 but it seems like they have an M4 on the lot. Um, y'all know I want to get an M3 that's probably like top priority but they have an M4 here with a manual transmission so I want to see check it out and see what the transmission is like. You know, at least wiggle it around, get in here. This is the M4 right now. Kind of got like a cream white to it. Or like a matte white, kind of, but not quite. But uh, if y'all know this color, y'all get in the comments and let me know. But I want to check out the M4, look at the transmission, and see how it's going. Because I also want to order an M3 in the future to go along with the big Z01. I feel like that would be a crazy combination. And um, so, got the M4 right here looking good. Black spoiler quad pipes and the most important thing of all manual transmission and also it has black rims the red calipers i don't know if i'll do this color because y'all know doing youtube you want your videos to pop out and be like very in your face so i don't know if i'll go with a white color but you know i'm going to bring um i'm going to bring uh, m3 to the channel very very soon we're going to see if we're going to be able to get into this one um, play with the transmission a bit and I'll let y'all know how it feels how it you know feels a sitting one I mean y'all let me know how the design is like, I really don't know more much about M4s um, I know they get a lot of criticism for the new um, what do you call it the new grill I know that everybody's criticizing that but I really like it to be honest with y'all I don't really I don't have nothing against the grill y'all let me know y'all get in the comments y'all let me know how y'all feel about the grill but yeah, we're just gonna check it out real quick. Play with the manual gearbox a little bit. And then I'm gonna see if I would ever take this, the M4, if I would take it over the M3. The reason I wanna do the M3 now is because obviously I got a bigger family, just had another girl, so I wanna have those four doors if I can. But the M4 is not bad at all. And it's like, it's kinda like the ZL1 because it has the seats in the back, if, you know what I'm saying, necessary. So we about to get in there. And we're about to see what's going on. Let's go. So guys, the BMW is now unlocked. So it's white on white. That's very beautiful. Got the matte white and then got the white interior. You know, M4 logo on the headrest. Got the seats. Y'all see that manual transmission? That's my favorite part. Y'all know that's my favorite part. So let's get in here and let's see what it actually feels like. Let's go. All right. So, I'm sitting down, got 25 miles on the dash. Let me see if y'all can see that. 25 miles on the dash. Let me close this up, see how I feel. The cabin is super quiet, and I tell you that it's super quiet because out there, those ladies are having a conversation, but can't even really hear them. But we got the manual transmission right here, six speed. Um, it looks real good, everything smells good. Obviously, it's a brand new vehicle. Um, got the carbon fiber on the steering wheel. Steering wheel feels really grippy. Um, feels really grippy. Got the red and blue stitching on the inside. Got the M buttons on the top. Uh, got the got the pedals. The pedals feel alright. I mean, it feels kind of. I guess it'll be different. You gotta. I guess you wouldn't be able to tell until you get the car going. So, I mean, that's not something I can really heavily judge right now. But you got a little small infotainment screen. Um, it's a little. But, uh, cause you know, in the M3, they got the real big one now. But it's little. And it's, uh, it's pretty, seems pretty responsive. You know, showing you all the settings right there. So we in here, man, and I'm just like, I like it, but I'm just not like, I don't know if I'm blown away. Let me see what the transmission feels like. like. Let me see. I don't know. Gotta do the trans. Yeah, I know I gotta do the transmission test. I don't know, man. Like, it feels like a, a luxury feel, like a big time luxury feel to it. I can't lie, it feels like I'm surrounded by luxury and comfort. Um, I can't tell you how to drive, obviously, because I'm not driving it, but if I were to drive it, it feels like it would be more of like a sports car feel than an actual, 
I mean, not a sports car feel. It feel like more of a luxury feel than an actual sports car feel. Does anybody out there have an M4? Y'all get in the comments, y'all let me know. But um, right now, I'm just, you know, it's cool. Got the ambient lighting. Um, I don't know, but it is a BMW, so I guess I can't knock it for being luxurious and sporty, you know, so I don't know if I could knock it for that. Um, uh, looks like it got the heated steering wheel. Shout out to Q to Chaotic. Y'all know he like the he heated steering wheel. Um, matter of fact, while I'm here, go ahead and shout out to the whole MOC. If you like seeing cars like these, follow me, Race Car Friends, Q to Chaotic, and Blueprint 1 LE. Because, you know, we put our content like that. We coming for y'all here. But, you know, M4, man. Am I impressed? I don't know. It feels like, like I said, it feels cool. I don't know if I would buy M4. I'm more of a more M3 guy. And the reasons being is because, you know, more full size sedan, still sport, still fast, still pop out, still kind of exclusive. And it's like, I just feel like the M4 is more of a like, I don't know, like single guy, doing well for himself type car. I don't think this is more like a guy like me, like, you know, I got kids, got a wife. You know, I'm kind of different. I'm, I'm different now, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like, you know, this is probably a car, a good car for a younger man or a guy that just has a whole bunch of cars and he just loved the M4 for some reason. But let's uh pop the hood and let's see what's popping. Let's go. Another thing we cannot forget is the Harman Carter speakers. They probably be bumping in here. Another thing, no soft clothes. Look, look, if I'm paying 100,000 or 90,000, and it's not like a pure sports car, I need that soft clothes. That's just me though. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. So we're gonna see what this engine talking about. Now, so far, this is my favorite part of this BMW. It is the engine. This right here, I like the way it looks. Got the strut brace right here. That seems like it comes stock. Man, this, this, this engine, it just looks beautiful. I like the way it's designed. It's really compact. It looks really, really flossy. It looks really clean. You know what I'm saying? Not too much going on, but not too little going on. You know, I feel like you can make some massive power with this vehicle. But I, I really like the engine. Yeah. I could say right now, this is my favorite part. And this white color is also called Frozen Brilliant White. So, I haven't really seen this color before on a BMW, but here it is. So guys, this is the trunk right here. Decent trunk space. But you know, it's a coupe, so I'm not expecting the most from it. But it's decent. But I, one thing I really like as well, I think the engine is my favorite part and these quad pipes and they covered in black so I think those that that's my second favorite part of this car you know what I'm saying look who it is race car friend I can't forget to tell you guys the price so the price for this one right now is 89145 so you know roughly $8200 you get you a new brand new frozen white M4 and this is a BMW Educator so if y'all interested in this car, y'all come holler at it because I don't know if it's going to be up here soon because if I was like an M4 guy, I think I would pick it up. But like I said, I'm more of an M3 guy. But this is out here for y'all to see. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I also want to show y'all one more car. They got another M4, but it's another color and then it has the wrong transmission because y'all know I only drive manuals. Let's go. So guys, this right here, this is the second M4 I was telling y'all about. It's an M4 competition, but of course it got the wrong color. I mean, it ain't got the wrong color, it got the wrong transmission, and it got a convertible. You know what I mean? We only need the manuals around here. We don't drive no, no automatics. Well, honey gang, I just found this M3 right here. It may be a first generation, maybe later, 
But did y'all know, I found out from my man QDK Yardic that the first generation M3s were all coupes. They were not sedans. So that's some BMW history for y'all right there. Y'all take note. <laughs>